well, I knew that was a good opening shot when I just sort of estimated it, practicing, if you will. This is going to be the last of the series for today. I have just figured out that tomorrow, and these are modern points celebrating an ancient heritage. Uh, these flow to us today from Georgia. Many of you will know when he uses his name, fine, of course, they're replicas, but Robert has made some awesome things for me, really filled my trove. Uh, and I keep about three uh, of the modern nappers and you guys I just really appreciate it. Rob another thanks I just bring these out I don't get to look I don't even look at them that often so maybe every couple of years uh, I might look at them slightly more than that but uh, just staggering stuff here most of us if we're out there if you see some of these pieces we found any of these out there in the field we'd be just like running circles jumping for joy but hey we celebrate it with working hard in a master fashion just sort of in a modern fashion to do it, I guess. Look at this piece. I sent him some obsidian, and he made these points. I heard that, too. Believe it or not, you'll hear points sometimes when I'm... Look at that. You can see absolutely like glass. But I guess that's what obsidian is. This came from uh, California, the stone. And then Rob mapped it out. It was just some fun stuff he did. Another point right here dark. I guess mahogany, obsidian. But out there, I mean, they absolutely understood the stone. They could make some points with this stuff. I mean, staggering quality points. But just in honor of the North American Indian, I wanted to highlight some of Rob's work and start with that. Good stuff. I will highlight some of the gifts came into me from other parts of the country. Just some staggering pieces. As you can see, just a little peekaboo, if you will, of some of the stuff that has come in just humbles me. I mean, if I just reach in there today, just as a preview, look at some of the stuff that people have shared with me as well. Just blow your mind. Blow your mind. Or look at that point back there. G10 stuff. Swamp monster right there. We'll get to that. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Look at this. Here's the story on this. This is an awesome couple pieces. Rob knows as soon as he sees it. But let me tell you the story. I sent him stone from a couple of my sites. I sent him quartz, of which he fashioned this, Guilford Yuma. And I sent him rhyolite, of which he made this point with. Left a little cortex on there just for fun. Here's the original color of the rhyolite with no patina. And you guys have seen the light green patina of rhyolite. I have none in this box, none at all, because this is all from different places you can see right there, Missouri stone. So I don't have any of the original, but you'll remember from my videos, the original patina, um, excuse me, the patina on rhyolite. I just might've done a video yesterday. So this is rhyolite fresh. Hopefully the color's coming in. And then he took some quartz. Now, Rob, uh, a lot of you out there nap and what have you, but you know that Rob is like a master quartz snapper. Quartz is, I guess, as far as I've understood from him and it's shared with me, is extremely difficult to nap. It's a great point. And I like these because I know that this quartz came from Riverdale, off an Indian site. Awesome stuff. And I know that this rhyolite right here came from Notchville. Actually, this piece of rhyolite might have come from the Falcon. Either way, it came from one of my ancient Indian sites. That's fun stuff. Let's go over to these big things and we'll move right through. Look at the size of this piece. Of course, he gets his stones from different places as well. I mean, can, can, can a person even imagine finding a piece like this? Crazy fun, right? Just great workmanship. To me, it just helps to celebrate the North American Indian makes a Guilford Yuma. He knows I love him. Anything we can do to lift up people's consciousness of the North American Indian and, and their value here in the nation. Look at this piece. Guilford Yuma. Talk about a smoker. 
I had not even found anything this large. These are monsters. Craziness. Whew. My word, right? Then he's got a lineup up here. Peace and Rhyolite. One of the first pieces he napped for me. He might not even be happy about some of these, but these are smokers anyway. They're nice points. Unique. He's working with stone and just messing around. Look at this. Good work, Rob. Thanks for these pieces. Can you imagine pulling this thing out of the ground? He told me it was some kind of stone. I don't think it's quartz. That's why I don't have it with the other. Uh, quartz sure feels like quartz and what have you. It's absolute smoker. Can you imagine pulling a piece like this out of the ground? No. Absolutely not. Crazy. I've seen some people pull. I saw, uh, I think it was Spike, pull a piece similar to this. A little wider out of the ground. Unbelievable. Here's Rob's favorite type of point. This Rob will have fun watching this. Hardaway. He did a good job on that. And a couple pieces here and sort of a root beer flint on this one. He's been generous just to share with me on these points. He's got a good home with these. Might have my own personal museum someday. Look at these points. Now he can nap. This is quartz. Rob has figured out or obtained the patience to nap in quartz. Look at this. Look at this stuff. Quality vein quartz. Yadkin, right? And everybody's like, wait a second. I don't think this is glass either. I think this is quartz. Now, I'm sure he's had some fun and nap glass here and then. I've seen people do it. Of course, this here is glass. It's volcanic glass. This here, I'm not sure. But I think it's quartz. I'll just put it right there for now. It's smoking awesome. Yeah, I can anyway. And this keeps getting better because I like Schneider's. This is a nice solid point, which I would never pass up out there. Who would? But Nap and Quartz, I mean, he's got it. He made an awesome piece. I remember him showing this, and then he absolutely just surprised me with it. Whew. Quartz work. And then this one. I'm going to tell you what. Beautiful, beautiful quartz work. I don't know if it's getting fo focused. It's even working. There we go. All right, that'll do it. A great show of it all, and I like to finish with that because the quartz is smoking. I mean, I mean, it's all awesome. Look at the collection he's been able to afford me. So I am thankful for a lot of the gifts I get, uh, and I have never given to get. But you guys have really blessed me, and I appreciate the three modern nappers that I featured today. So from Indian Trace, from all of, to all you guys out there that like to watch and just have some fun a little bit around artifacts. Hope you find out there. Be safe.